Imagine Time TV presents Adam Bomb, the Autistic Engineer, written by Latanya Michelle Brooks, illustrated by Louise Sanchez. At the park, Xavier, Sebastian, and their friend Janelle were playing a game of tag. Tag, you're it! I bet you can't catch me! As he ran to escape, something caught Xavier's eye. Hey, it's Adam, that weird kid, he laughed, his finger pointing to the boy playing off on his own. Sebastian, isn't that your toy train? Sebastian stopped in his tracks. Adam, what have you done? He cried, his face twisting with anger. That was my favorite toy and you destroyed it. He rushed forward and snatched up the broken train. Your mom should have named you Atom Bomb instead of Atom Bomb because everything you touch ends up exploding into a million pieces. The kids burst into laughter, their voices ringing through the air as they chanted, Atom Bomb, Atom Bomb, Atom Bomb, over and over again. Adam didn't understand why Sebastian was so upset. He had just wanted to see how the train worked. He was curious to know what made the wheels turn and how the different parts were connected. Sometimes he let his curiosity get the best of him. Adam usually preferred to play alone. Marisol and Cam were kind though and often liked to invade his private world. Adam really didn't seem to mind. What you doing? Marisol asked coming up from behind him. Why are you over here all alone? Adam shrugged. I like playing alone, but you can play with me if you like. Adam knew that when Cam and Maddie saw looked at him, they didn't see a friend with autism. They just saw him, their friend Adam. I know that I'm a little different, he continued, and other kids think that I am weird. Maddie saw quickly interrupted him of course you're different. Guess what? So is everyone else. No two people are the same. Right, Cam? That's right, said Cam. Everyone has different talents and quirks that make them special. So what if you have a curious mind and you like to figure things out? That doesn't make you weird. It makes you smart. Did you know that Albert Einstein, Mozart, and Isaac Newton were believed to be autistic? Hey, maybe you could be the next Einstein, exclaimed Marisol. The next day, Cam and Marisol knocked at the door. Hey Adam, we're on our way to the park. Are you coming? asked Cam. Adam hesitated. Well, I don't know. Cam and Marisol wouldn't take no for an answer. It didn't take long for them to convince Adam to come along. Hey look Sebastian, it's Adam Bomb! And he actually has friends, said Xavier, as Adam and his friends enter the park. You better watch out before there is an atomic explosion! All the kids laughed and ran away, but not Marisol and Cam. They stood by their friend. Adam was starting to think that agreeing to come to the park wasn't such a good idea. But that thought quickly faded away when Cam asked, Hey Adam, what's in your backpack? Adam loved to sketch and build things. He pulled out his sketchbook to show them. If I want to become the best mechanical engineer ever, I have to practice. A mechanical engineer? What does a mechanical engineer do? asked Marisol. They design and build things, Adam replied. Things like what? All sorts of things. Things like roller coasters, cars, robots, planes, and even spaceships. Spaceships? Wow, that sounds pretty incredible, Marisol said, her eyes wide with amazement. Cam looked over toward the other kids. I wonder what's going on over there, Marisol turned to look. I'm not sure, she said, her voice worried. Everyone's running. I think something's wrong. Here comes Janelle. Janelle arrived, out of breath from her run. 
We need your help, she cried. Hurry, what happened? Xavier fell into a really big hole, and I think he's hurt. Janelle looked like she was going to cry. Oh no, Marisol said, her face twisted with fear. What are we going to do? As the other kids ran frantically around, trying desperately to find a way to save Xavier, Adam sat there with his sketch pad in his hand. He seemed to be in his own world, doodling away without a care. After a few minutes, Adam stood and walked over to Marisol. I have an idea. He handed Marisol his sketch pad. Marisol looked down at the sketch in awe. Adam, you are a genius. Adam didn't bother with a response. Moving quickly, he walked over to his backpack. He was ready to put his plan into motion. Marisol showed the other friends Adam's sketch. We have to work together to save Xavier. As Adam gathered tools from his backpack and started dismantling parts from the playground, Sebastian ran over to help. The kids worked together following Adam's plan. When they were finished, they had built a spectacular pulley system. As a team, they lowered Sebastian into the hole. After just a few minutes, they felt a tug on the other end. It took every ounce of their strength to turn the wheel, pulling Sebastian and Xavier to safety. As the boys emerged from the deep, dark hole, the crowd cheered. Xavier and Sebastian were very grateful as they thanked Adam for his heroic efforts. I'm not a hero, Adam said. Well, you're a hero in my book, said Xavier. I'm sorry for teasing you, and I hope you can forgive me. You're actually pretty cool, and that bully was awesome. I'm impressed. It was nothing. I did what any mechanical engineer would have done, said Adam. I saw a problem, and I solved it. Thank you for reading Adam Baum, the autistic engineer, with us today on Imagine Time TV. Don't forget to give this story a big thumbs up so we can continue to bring you more fun books. We'll see you next time on Imagine Time TV where we read, learn, and imagine.